G'day everyone, Gerber here with another Torchlight Infinite Season SS6 video. I've been away for the last four days and a fair bit has happened. Most notably, the Supreme Showdown is now being completed. So I just wanted to go over the top builds in Asia that have completed the Supreme Showdown. Now you can imagine that uh, because these bosses are quite difficult and the re reward that you get for uh, completing it is the free legendary pack spirit um which is quite nice uh as well as those as well where is it here it is here you get to choose one of the previous legendary uh season pack spirits so it is quite a good reward however getting it is very difficult so in this video i'm just going to go through the rankings much like i did for the um daily boss and just look at the top builds if they are available if they're hidden and there's one oh, one rank below i'll look at that um and we'll just have a quick look at the builds that are progressing the furthest uh you can imagine that the gear is quite uh juicy on these builds um but you get an idea of how you can progress to clear the content on each character. Uh, the first one is my own um, class. This is not my character. I'm a, a few days off this, um, but we'll see how we go. So mind control with the usual candidates with a level 30 grudge, which is huge. Also weaken uh, and uh, speedy boy through maps which is what the plus two percent movement speed uh for defeat so 40 percent movement speed skill area etc from that uh which is really really nice on to some defenses frost shield with iron fortification force start with uh activation men a medium energy shield onto black hole uh reap agony is where what that's all about and activation elite that's really smart because you don't want to just be spamming black hole you don't really need it through the map so when you are within an elite you just blitz the elite that's really 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 smart uh blurry steps with defensive layers that's i didn't think of that definitely should put that on on to the auras erosion enhancement precise deep pain alley res with the third one if you're wondering how you run this you must have the third aura um, otherwise you can't seal the um, thing having aura amp there instead of increased aoe is what i'll probably end up doing um, and energy fortress in the last slot looking at the gear this is where it gets kind of insane um awesome slates uh, with dot damage focus um, I don't think that really does anything silent realm has 50 fixed order I didn't know that was a thing that's really interesting so you got halfway huh then I guess you don't need that's really interesting because you don't need the minus slates that give you more um, order conversion. You can just focus on getting more dot damage on everything. Huh. The new god is balancing order and reap duration. No, no one cares. Affliction effect for every point of chaos. So you're getting 0.4% affliction effect times 50. You're also getting... 0.15% additional dot damage times 50. Huh. I didn't know these were a thing. So that's really, really cool. I did see a corner of a divinity that had dot damage and erosion damage. So that would be pretty cool as well. These are all... That's very interesting. I wonder what these are worth. Probably a lot. 800. Okay. 800 a pop. These are worth... <laughs> Damn. Damn. What about these ones? Damn. <laughs> I think he just died. 
Um, anywho, <laughs> onto the memories, affliction effect, reap cooldown, recovery speed, and spell damage. I, oh, Jesus. These are really nice. But I guess that's what you would expect from the top tier, um, you know, end of doing the game, I guess. Onto the weapons, zeros everywhere. Um, to be expected. Oh. This guy has pumped in some insane amounts of currency into his gear. Eternity is 15k. Holy sh shit nuggets. I remember then when this was about 1500 at the end of the first week, and now it's 15,000. That is mental. There must be some insane ways of making currency now. I won't spend this long on um, the other classes, but damn. Salivating. <laughs> Alright, so I've gone through the skills, the slates, the candles. Um, and even with all this gear, can't beat level 20. That is actually insane that blows my mind that is probably absolute pinnacle gear 70,000 flame elementium into that character can only do level 16 all right let's look at some others <clears throat> yuga one hidden yuga one hidden 18 hidden ah oh, these are so annoying we should have had the little hidden icon here we go. One that you can actually inspect. Again, Eternity. Crazy. 20,000 Flame Elementium. Expensive chest. Ah, this helmet was... Yeah, 800. All the tier zeros in the eye level 100 gear. All of these are going to have really crazy gear, no doubt. Because they are the pinnacle of each class. Uh, and onto the neck. Onto the soul candles. Level 20 control spell. Level 20 crit strike damage. Slates. Again, when sparks set the prairie ablaze. That's pretty much end game all the time. Some really nice slates as well. Plus skill level, plus lightning skill level. Plus lightning skill level, plus skill level. Man. These would cost so much to craft. And off the beaten track with chance to gain fro focus blessings. Really, really nice. Let's look at his skills. Chain Lightning with level 5 Lucky. Path of Flames. Blink. Ice Bond. Interesting. I guess that's to get the focus blessing stacks. Defensive buffer with perpetual motion. That is pretty cheap these days, I think. Frigid Domain. Elemental Amplification. Thunder Spirit. And Precise Ellie Res. Precise Selfishness. Interesting. We've looked at Soul Candles. Hero Traits. Oh, hero Memories, rather. Me and myself, endless manner, and it's an illusion. I didn't look at the talent points of the other one, but here it is for this one. And Warlock. Alright, that is Yuga 1. Let's look at a class that has 100% past it, and that is Charge Calling Commanding... Commander Modo. Oh wait, that's actually garbage. Don't don't worry about that one. They, they, this is barely not a class. Let's look at another class that's really good. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, is the gear? What's the gear like on these? Oh, they're not even playing these characters anymore. It's understandable because it's so underpowered. All right, Zelda of Oh, Zelda of War. Well, at least it's 16, so that's as good as um, 
my class, I guess. Magnus Staff, which is crazy good. Priceless Amulet with all tier 1s. I level 86 with all tier 1s. Tier 1s galore. Pretty juicy weapon. Plus 4 tenacity blessing stacks. That's nice. Couple of juicy candles. Looking at his skills, this is Carino 3 split shot with a couple of the new skills. DPS, 165 million. Poof. Life source with activation medium, elemental destruction, blurry steps, fixate. Precise, precise, precise. Swiftness, summon flame spirit and thunder spirit. Already looked at those. Looking at the talents, God of Might, Warlord, and Ranger. Alrighty, next up we will look at a class that has cleared it. Because everyone is telling me to go this class. Because it is apparently really, really, really smooth and in a ton of damage. It's not even hidden. What is going on here? Ice Lancers. Carino 2. Apparently with about 15,000 flame elementium, you can cap the dummy in one second. Path of Flames, Mana Boil, Electric Amp, Precise Projectiles, Flame Spirit, Precise Imbue. That is nice. Huh. Eight second cheat death. That looks expensive. Anywho, onto the gear. Cicada shell, I thought this got nerfed. But apparently it's good. Kappa. Maybe it's good if you have this. 600. I mean, that seems pretty cheap, to be honest. Priceless neck with all tier zeros. Beacon. Wow. All tier zeros. Imperial Might. Nice. This is some juicy, juicy gear. Projectile Quant. When sparks set the fr pr prairie ablaze. Why is that in the corner? Why would you not have that touching two more adjacent? That doesn't make any sense to me. But, oh, whatever. Medium talents on all adjacent slates, so that's on all of these. What are these worth? A lot. Wow. Everything's worth a lot. I have been gone for four days. Um, so I guess there is that. Let's have a look at the talents. Goddess of Knowledge. Elementalist. And Ranger. But this can clear the game at the moment, which is cool. Three point... No, 32 million sheet DPS, 238,000 survival, huge, 73% all res. In a minute, buddy. Are you streaming? I'm making a video. How long is the video going to go for? Uh, probably another five minutes. So two five minutes. What? Five more there. Yep, go set a timer. Another build for one that's almost cleared it. Ralph's Burial. Truth, plus six all skills. 
Ho. Ho. What's a standard non corroded? 520? Wow. All this gear is crazy compared to what I've got. Soul candles. Plus one physical. Galore. Dex. Dex stacker. Obviously. Memories. Let's quickly look at the talents. We'll look at Selena after this. Selena has also cleared level 20. So that's a look at another Carino 2 that's almost cleared it. Unfortunately, we couldn't look at the other guy. And finally, we have Selena. I thought Selena would have cleared this a lot more, but uh, it's only just as well at, at a one star. Again, nothing but tier zeros. Crazy, crazy gear. What is this? Why does it look like that? It's replica gear. Wow, okay. Max focus blessing stacks plus one, plus ten percent additional damage. Wow. What? Plus twelve. Damn. Plus four, my mm, focus blessing. Plus 12 skill. Holy cow. 500 to get both of those. What is this? That is one hell of a we uh, weapon. Holy balls. I guess this is expected. We are looking at the absolute pinnacle in the Osha server. So these types of people do exist. Int stacker, maybe? No. I don't know what I'm looking at, clearly. Crit strike damage, one additional curse. Grudge. Look at the talents. If you're playing Selena, this will probably make a lot more sense. We looked at Statue of the New God. Skills. Ice bound beam. Speed Phantom, Aim, Frost Shield, Origin, Precise Precise, Frigid Domain, Flame Spirit, and Elemental Amplification. So that was a quick look at the classes that have cleared Supreme Showdown. I have spoken to Andre and we have extended my event until we get three people that have cleared it. And then I will, um, I'll start farming my brains out. So as people clear it, they can message me with proof. All you'll need to do is send me a screenshot uh, showing that you have cleared all 20. And I will craft you your item for 2000 Flame Elementium, which looks like it's not going to be that good compared to other seasons. Um... But it's still going to take me a while to farm up those 2,000 Flame Elementium per craft. Um, and yeah, so I look forward to that. 
And if you haven't already, you can still sign up for my event. Uh, it is in the description below. And also, if you like hardcore solo self-found content, I will give a shout out to my brother, Sinol. He has been making some content. If you check out at Sinol on YouTube, he has killed T7 Traveler in solo self-found hardcore as well as he is making some other videos on his progress through uh, Time Mark 7, etc. So if you are interested in hardcore solo self-found, give him a watch. His description, uh, A link to his channel will be in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.